So when I say Rotozip, this is the tool that I'm talking about. Rotozip is actually the brand name. This is made by Bosch. I think it's called a rotary tool or a rotary saw. I think that's the official name, but I call it a Rotozip because it's easy to remember. And it has two different types of bits. You have the standard point bit, and then you have these which have a guide tip or a tracing tip. And what that looks like is these right here. This is the guide tip. This is the standard one. And this is the one I like to use when I am cutting around plastic boxes for electrical, metal boxes for can lights, or when you go around framing. That way, if you use this, it won't accidentally cut into the boxes or the framing too much like this one tends to. You could still use this one to go around that stuff, but if you don't have a lot of experience with a saw like this, this one is definitely the way to go. It makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna change out the bit that's on here and cut out that window. I'm just gonna take my Rotozip with the guide tip and use this framing right here to guide this saw to cut this drywall out. And you can see that this is marked up a little bit from the tip. That would be a lot worse if you were using a standard tip. It looks pretty good. And now we can put this piece up. So now I want to be mindful of where my boxes are. I have one that this sheet is gonna go over. I'm not gonna cut it out right now. I'll cut it out with the roto zip afterwards, but I wanna mark it. That is the center of my box. I just make sure that all the wire is tucked in nice. And I'm good to install this sheet. And you wanna put screws wherever you can. Just don't put them too close to this box because then that box will break through. And in fact, I think that's enough screws for now. I'll put one right here just to tighten up that drywall against that box. We can cut it out. Okay, now I'm going to take my roto zip, and this is the center mark for that box. I'm just going to plunge cut this and go about a half inch past this drywall and then find the edge, pull this saw out a little bit, and then find the outer edge and just ride along that box and cut this out.